So guys, here we are. Another year, another clip. Yep. So as many of you know, I was a big fan of the old Clifton. I mean the OG Clifton. The original. It was soft. It was light. It was, dare I say, it was unique. Different. And then every year since then, just, it changed. It went from being a soft, nice, light, bouncy shoe to being different. And I admit, every year, I get upset. It's like I want the old Clifton bag. And I know a lot of you guys out there are just like me. But you know, it's just, it's not. It's changed and it's different. And I thought about it deep in my heart. And so I was up late last night and I was thinking, why do I dislike the new Clifton? And the more I thought about it, the more I realized is that I don't actually dislike the new Clifton. I just miss the old one. But is that really fair for me to judge the shoe based off what it was and not what it is today? So this year, I really want to make it a point to judge the shoe off of what it is now, today, and not what it was. So I've had this shoe for about a few weeks now, three weeks. I've done short runs, long runs, speed runs, you know, the whole testing the shoe out thing. And while using it, I thought, you know what? I kind of like it. My first thing was the upper. It's a lot sleeker, I would say. There's less overlays, a lot more breathable, a lot less going on, and, and I'm a very simple man. So I appreciate that. It had a little stretch to it, but it kept my foot in place pretty well. The only thing I really didn't like about the upper was the fit as far as like the width. And so, and typically I don't wear wide shoes, but I went back in exchange for a wide width, which I hardly ever do, and it actually worked fine. So now I have a wide. The toe box with the wide shoe was nice, it was roomy, it was still snug in the midfoot, and the heel was still secure enough to where I didn't slip off the shoe. So yeah, it worked. And plus, you got a pull tab. And your boy Jamie loves pull tabs. Even on a Hoka. So the big thing is the midsole. So like I was saying, the Clifton 1 was super light, plush, and this is a lot more responsive, and I guess you could say versatile. Like going fast in the old Clifton 1 wasn't really a thing. Like it was kind of mushy, but it felt good. And on this version, it's a lot more responsive. Like going fast felt right. The toe off in this shoe felt a lot more natural, it felt speedier. I guess Thomas would say uh, it's snappy. Yeah, snappy, we'll go with that. And it's still cushioned enough to go on long runs, short runs, so I get it. Now the heel cushioning is still there. For those who heel strike, it would definitely hold you down. I know they have a, a meta rocker, which is basically a way to guide your foot during transition. So you kind of come in transition, it rolls you forward and kind of propels you that way. Or that way, depending which way you're running. And now if you're not used to Hoka, it's very different. But I don't mind it, I like it for some shoes. The Skechers Go Run Ride kind of has that same feeling-ish. So yeah, I like it, so you may not. But anyway, to move on, uh, the outsole is pretty much nothing. You got a few like rubber spots for the high wear areas. But other than that, it's a Hoka. It's very exposed. And this is pretty much the downfall of every Hoka ever. As soft as it is, it's all just EVA foam. And the more you run, the more it's gonna compact, compress, and before you know it, you lost like half the stack height in the shoe. So you'll know that it's time for a new shoe. Other than that, the shoe is pretty good all around. Um, I would say if you like Hoka, you'll love this shoe. If you love the old Clifton, it won't be that Clifton. But if you have an open mindset to say, you know what? Let me try this shoe for what it is today. It's not so bad. Now, I will always rep hashtag Clifton 1, but the 5, it's good. I guess you could say it's um, Jimison approved. Well done. So, yeah, my only really downside to the shoe is the lack of rubber down here. Not very durable. It fits narrow to me, so I had to go to a wide. And the looks. I'll be honest, guys, the shoe is hideous. Like, every Hoka is just bad. It is. I'm sorry. Now, I get it's a functional running shoe, and it doesn't matter, but yeah, I will not wear this outside of running, ever. If you see me wearing this shoe on the street, just slap me. All right, guys, uh, so that's my quick review, overview, my thoughts on the Clifton 5. 
I'm gonna use this shoe mostly for my long runs on the road. But yeah, subscribe to the channel, like, dislike, comment your thoughts. How do you feel about this shoe? Clifton 5 versus Clifton 1. Where do you stand? Uh, with that said, um, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.